Hello once again, YouTubers. This is Tobin Industrial, and today I have a little surprise for you. As you might recall, if you look back uh, uh, many videos ago that I have done on YouTube, you would have seen a, uh, a meter, uh, an antique meter. Now, even though uh, that's probably the only thing I did have with regards to test equipment that is old, I certainly do appreciate it. I like that kind of equipment. It's the old school stuff. And today, I realized I had another piece of equipment that I've had a long time and didn't realize I had not done a video on it. And it's going to be another old piece of equipment. Slightly different, but similar. And we're just going to open it up now. Hold on, before I do that, I'll keep in suspense. It says right here, Micro Tel Corp. So it's Micro Telephone Corporation. Let me give you a hint as to what might be in here. Are you ready? There we are. Now I'm going to take it out of the case, but that's the case it comes in, and it's an awful thick leather case. What is it? Well, just stand by a moment. Now you have a better view. This here was given to me many moons ago uh, by a gentleman who worked with Newfoundland Telephone in the troubleshooting industry uh, going around doing repairs. This piece of equipment was decommissioned a long time ago. That they must have upgraded. And it is for testing telephone lines. And I guess you could probably do a lot more than that. But that's what they were using this piece of equipment for. It's uh, Northern Electric Company Limited, and I think the model number is NSB455L2, and it does mega ohms and ohms. Has an on-off switch right here. There's your battery adjustment here. There's a little button for your uh, adjusting, I guess, zero zeroing your your needle. Uh, R10, R plus 10, I think, down here. A little push button. And you have your reverse switch right, right over here. And uh, really old school. Really old school. Now up here, I don't know if you can notice that or not, but there's a little indentation here where there might have been a sticker at one point or there might be writing, but I don't see nothing at this stage of the game. However, on the top it does say Northern Telecom. And it says the date of calibration was October 8. But the year is gone. And it says next calibration uh, they, they must have never calibrated it after that. Serial number is not existent for some reason. IFC number is not existent and it looks like a signature here. IRC and the signature. And it says 12345 Albert Hudden, Montreal, Nord, H1G, 3L1, 514-324-2020. Here's the back of the, the unit. And uh, just a pretty typical test piece of test equipment. And uh, yeah, I, I forgot I had this, and I apologize for its condition. It's uh, it needs to be cleaned, but uh, I had forgot I got it. I had it, and I stumbled across it when I was uh, rooting through uh, some of my equipment to look for something to do a video on. Anyway, I just want to give you a little a uh, little bit more information on the meter because maybe some of you may be interested. If not, well, that's okay. Uh, it says down here in the bottom corner here says Bach Simpson Limited. B-A-C-H, that is. And it says right here, M324. And right over here, it says 62786, or 766, maybe. And it says, uh, down here in this corner here, can't quite make it out. It says something Canada. Not exactly sure. But anyway piece of test equipment. Uh, I don't think this is the original wires and uh, I think before he gave me the the test equipment he clipped off the alligator clip so I guess he figured he may have some other use for it. So uh, that's it. Uh, telephone test equipment. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm hoping to have a few more videos up in the coming days and weeks and uh, if not just remain patient. Uh, 
lots of other videos being done out there so it'll keep you happy thank you for watching the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Tobin Industrial